Today, we're going to look at adding color swatches to our collections pages so that your customers, when they're browsing your website, they can see at a glance what colors you offer for each one of your products without having to go into the products themselves. Let's take a look. So first, we're going to take a look at Aloe's website. So Aloe, for each one of their products on their collection, you can see all the different colors that they offer. And when you select one of these little swatches, it actually changes the image on the collection page directly. Now, with our implementation, it's going to look a little bit like this. You can see all the individual color swatches, and we can change the size of these if we want. Uh, but when you click on this, it'll actually take you into the product uh, instead of uh, changing the, the color on the collection page itself. So it's a bit of a simplified implementation. And if you guys want to see the uh, full implementation that like similar how Allo has done it, then let me know in the comments below. And if enough of you want it, then I'll put the time in to develop a solution for you guys. But for now, we're going to do the simplified version where uh, you just see the different options here. And uh, at least at a glance, customers can see what colors are offered. And if they want to get a little bit more detail on what it looks like, they can jump into the product and play with the variants there. So for this implementation, we're actually building off of the previous video I did on color swatches where we implemented these, uh, these swatches here on the product page. So if you haven't done that yet, please check that video out first before coming back to this one to get it onto your collections page. So assuming you've already have the implementation of the color swatches on the product page, we can now add a little bit of code to the code editor to get that uh, get those swatches onto the collection page. So let's do that right now. So we're gonna go and come to our themes area. And as always, make sure you make a copy to back it up in case anything goes wrong. And we're going to edit code. And next we're going to look for the file card-product.liquid. So that's this one right here. And we're going to search for this line right here, this, this variable right here, card underscore underscore content. And you're going to actually find two of them. Right? So one there and one there. So we're going to want to go to the second one because uh, the first one is going to be on the image itself. And the second one is going to be for the contents under the image. So that's, that's uh, if we come back to this image here, it'll, the first card content is the image. The second one is the details underneath it. And so we want it to show up on the details underneath. So that's why we're going to place it right under here. And we're just going to copy and paste this code right here. And that's essentially it. But before I save it, what we're going to do is I'm just going to close this preview. Uh, because the live version of the site doesn't actually have those swatches there. So the code I'm editing right now is for the live version. You can see that those swatches are not there. Once I save, it will show up. Um, now, before I do that, you can see here in the code that we're rendering the variant swatch custom. So that's this code here that we implemented previously with the product page swatches. So we're actually... Um, building off what we already have, leveraging the same code that puts on the product page uh, and, and putting it into the collection page instead. So that's it. Just these few lines right here. You can save that. And then when we refresh, there they go. So we've got our color swatches on our collections page now. We can have it on our product page. And it's, uh, it looks pretty good. So... That's essentially it. A really quick one today. Uh, again, if you guys really want to see an implementation where we can have uh, clickable color swatches and actually text of what color has been selected also being updated, right? So we've got a we've got a, quite a few things happening here: um, the selection, the image changing, and the uh, the color text. So if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments below. If enough of you want it, I'll put the time in to get a solution for you guys. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.